yeah, I'm I'm not grasping it at all. Like I'm not I'm not understanding at all like what I was doing wrong. Like I know the I, the concepts are easy. Like okay, you force him to this edge, you force him to the corner, you do a little thing to win the rook, and at some point Black's gonna go to the other side. But like the little you know moves here along the way, I'm just I'm completely missing it. Hey guys, today I'm gonna be giving myself one hour or. 59 minutes and 59 seconds to be more precise to learn this end game now i know that this should be a win in most cases but as far as the exact technique of how to do that i don't know that and that's what i'm going to try to learn in only one hour to do this i'm going to be using three different resources i have this book winning chess endings yeah sir sir Wayne, really great book i've learned a ton of my most of my endgame knowledge came from this book, and there's a section at the very end called The Rare and the Perfect, where it's a chapter just on this endgame. So I'm going to be using this. I also I also have uh, basic chess endings, Ruben Fine. It has a couple of pages at the very end, Queen versus Rook. I might use that as well. And then, of course, you can see I have Stockfish over here. Um showing me what the best moves are and also and maybe even more importantly you can see over here the table base and if you don't know what a table base is that's just uh when you have i think it's seven pieces or less on a board uh it's a database that stores all the the basically the best moves and so you can see if a position is winning if it's draw and then how how is it winning and what's the fastest way to win and so we can see here that king e4 would be the absolute fastest way to win this position but all of these different moves um would ultimately lead to a win so i'm going to be using that where needed as well but having said that i'm going to go ahead and get started so i'm going to start the timer and get to work all right so first thing i'm going to do is awkwardly bang my microphone uh, I'm going to go start with this book because I really like the way he explains things. I think it's a little bit more clear a lot of times than the basic chess endings one. So I'm going to go ahead and start here. Okay, that's kind of cool. So he shows, um, I will actually go ahead and just go to the board editor. And he's showing a potential position that would lead to this end game so i'm going to put this in here just for your you guys's benefits and so one way to win this would be capturing here playing b6 and then you would get something like this and here we have the queen against the rook okay cool Okay, interesting. So essentially, what it was saying is initially people thought that the way that you win this endgame was to uh, just keep forcing the king and the rook to the side of the board. Black defending would keep the rook next to the king so that it's always defended so he doesn't like get forked by the queen somehow. And eventually you push him to the edge of the board and you push him to a corner. And at some point the rook is kind of forced away and you're able to, to win the rook and win the game. But then there was a computer program and I don't know exactly which year this was, but the computer program showed that you could survive longer as black by voluntarily moving your rook away from the king um, in certain situations where there was no skewer, there was no fork, and that actually made it more difficult for the player with the queen, and only with like a subtle kind of quiet move could you win. So that's interesting. He also is saying that there are like some principles that you can follow. So let's see what these principles are. All right, so there's three principles. Number one, you push the king to the edge of the board. Number two, you push it to a corner. And then number three, the rook will be forced away from the king at some point, and that's when you can potentially skewer or, or fork it or somehow win the rook and win the game. So that's basically what I just said. So those are the three principles.
little trap here you have to watch out this is one thing that i do remember i don't I think i've just heard of this before but there's like stalemate tricks so like here's an example rook to c6 check draws you can't take it or it's a stalemate um sorry it's a stalemate and if you don't take it you lose your queen so it's a draw either way so you have to watch out for that but once you get into the edge of the board you have to figure out how to push them to the corner And the final step is to make the rook move away. Okay. Queen to a1 check. King to b8. And then queen to a5. Again, it's like this Tuxfong situation where the black rook has to move. The king can't move. The only place the king could move to would be here. But then... Jack, how would we win that? Jack, rook goes back, check, king goes over. Oh no, we would just pin it. We would just pin the rook. Okay, if the king goes here, we would just do this, I see. All right, so because of that, uh, the king can't move, therefore the rook has to move. You've got options to come over this way or come down this way. And wherever it moves, it leads to the capture of the rook. So for example, rook to b1, you have queen e5 check. If the king goes here, I see this fork. It means the king needs to go to one of these squares. Queen d4 check. Usually you just keep checking. If the king goes here, you have this fork. So it goes back, but now you have queen h8 check. Oh, nice. And then you have this one. So it's not easy, necessarily, to see those forks. Hmm. Just keep checking until you get it set up correctly for the fork. Okay. And then what if the rook comes like over here? Queen e5 check. Again, you can't go here because of this fork. And it's important that our king is like super close to the black's king. Because otherwise, like for example here, the rook could just block and be defended by the king. But because our king is like right in front of black's king, that doesn't work. Okay. So better move would be where king a7 or a8 this idea of going into the corner forcing the king over and then just sidestepping one move that seems to be pretty pretty common and if the rook blocks you just have checkmate interesting so this idea of like staying along this long diagonal here we have the skewer i mean the fork the fork okay All right, so that's the basic idea, and I think I understand that. So just to recap, and of course, black can play better moves, but you force the king back to the edge of the board, and then you have to figure out a way to get it to go to the corner, which is not easy, but you keep bringing the king up. You waste to move if you need to, and eventually you force it to the corner, and then it's just a matter of forcing the rook away and then figuring out a way to win it. Okay, let's look at another example. In this one, the significant difference is that white's king is in a bad position. So you can see how white's king is cut off here. Oh, it's black to play in this position. Okay, I need to uh, change that actually. I didn't realize it was black to play. Okay. So, oh yeah, black to play. It's, it's a draw. You can see that on the table base there. It is a draw. Interesting. And the idea is... You just keep checking the king. Check. Check. 
check. So if you go here, then you we've seen this idea before, right? This stalemate trick. So that one I remember. But if you go here, ah, there's the, the pin. There's a pin here. You can't ever walk this way or you get pinned, which means you have to keep going back. And if you go here, you just, yeah, it's just always going to be check. Even here, it's just check. You can't take it or it's a stalemate this way. So you can never get out of the checks. There's constantly checks along this. That's interesting. So if you do have the king, you don't want it to be stuck on the edge in like a box of these three with your queen there. You want to keep it in like the center. That's what I'm taking away from that. All right, so that's the basics. Now it's moving on to talk about the computer analysis part in more detail. So I'm going to spend some time reading through this. Okay, so he basically is talking about table bases and how they exist and how because of that you can survive longer if you have the rook. So I'm going to go quickly now and set up a different position. We're going to look at an example where the rook actually moves away voluntarily like I was mentioning earlier. Okay, so this is white to play and here we go. Okay, so here's the great example. A human move would be something like rook b6. You keep the rook close to the king. You want it to be uh, defended. You attack the queen, whatever. But that loses faster than if you play rook to g6, which looks like, what are you doing? Well, this is one of those examples where you, your rook's just not going to get forked. It just can't. There's no way. And this is what makes it difficult for the player with the queen to win is if your opponent does this. If they don't do this, it's, I guess, not really that hard. If they do this, that's when it becomes really tricky. So let's see. Queen to c4 check. The rook comes back. Queen to b4. And again, rook to h6. Different square this time because I guess the queen was on a different square. Interesting stuff. Okay, interesting. So rook to c1, and he, he's basically saying, if a human plays this move, what are you gonna do if you're white with the queen? Well, you're gonna sit there and think, okay, how can I fork the rook? Like somehow there must be a way to check and fork the rook, but there's not. So you have to change your strategy and just try to control as many important squares as you can. That's the key takeaway. Control as many important squares as you can. Okay, so queen e4 check is important primarily because we don't want to be checked from behind with the rook. So we immediately stop that. So that's why we go to e4. Here, rook g6. And then here, rook h6. You just have to keep getting your pieces on the optimal squares. Don't worry about getting the rook in those situations. Now, it's tricky because like against a human, I would I would want to check because a human might have made a mistake and maybe there is a fork. But against the computer, you know there's not. So, okay. Which is still a win, but it's taking longer. And so I'm going to use the table base here to see what's going on. Thirty-three minutes to go. I feel like I've grasped like the major concepts. So that's pretty much all that I'm seeing in this book. I want to check briefly the the basic chess endings here. See if there's anything else. But this book is so old that it might not actually have the updated information. Yeah, it's like two pages and it's like super simple. All it says is black keeps the rook next to the king. Let me actually see when this was copyrighted because yeah, 1941, 1960. So I don't, yeah, it was too early. So they didn't know about the table bases and they didn't know about the idea of the rook leaving the king. And so it's not even covered in that book. So what I'm gonna do now is um, 
I think I'm gonna just try to practice. I think I'm just gonna practice a bunch. So yeah, let me let me just do that. I'm gonna just set up a position and play it against the computer. So let let's just think what kind of position should I do here? Um let's go for let's start with a kind of similar one to what I've seen and see if I can do it from here first. So I'm playing against max levels talkfish. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring my king up. And let's see. Let's go check over here. And bring my king up again. Okay, so I can avoid the check, which is why I wanted my queen there. And so I feel like this is a pretty good start. All right, he does one of those random rook moves. So I'm not even going to think about trying to win it. I'm just going to go for controlling more squares. So we'll go for a check here. Let's go check here so that we don't get checked by the rook. And all right, let's just let's just go here. Okay. Check. Okay, so somehow I need to get the rook out of here so that I can force the king back. So let's try. Should, should this do it? Hmm. Why can't I? See, this is this is why it's so difficult. It's all these like little tiny things that happen along the way that you don't know. Like I don't I don't know how to get the rook out of the way for my king to move. Let's just go attack it with the queen, I guess. Wow, okay. So he goes all the way back there. So, okay, I don't want to be checked. So how would I prevent that? I could move here. Hmm. But I also don't want to let the king out. Well, let's do it. Okay, so now I can come up here. All right. I think that was like a l tiny little bit of progress. Wow. Look at, look at this. Yeah, because my king's blocking the, uh, the diagonal for... Okay. All right, fine. So let's see. Maybe check here. And here? No, then the rook's going to check me over there. All right. Just control more squares. So let's, let's try to just go here. Just to take away the checks. Okay. Let's take away the checks. Hmm. Wow, uh, this is so tricky. Let me just do a waiting move. See if that does anything for me. He goes over there. Okay, so we had a position like this. What did we do? What did we do?
Okay. Check. Let's just play like a sort of like a waiting move, maybe? Here? I can't, obviously can't go here, so I can come over this way. Okay. I, f I feel like my king is just not where it needs to be at all. Can't stay on this file. Let's come this way. Let's go check. Now I think I can bring the, the king closer. Okay. Let, let's actually do that. Hmm. Okay, so we got a little closer. All right. This is looking good. think because he can't check me there okay so he goes over there Th this might be this might be one of the moments where I can win the rook uh, let's see how would I do that no maybe it's not actually no it should be I'd have to get my queen here okay so I need to go, wait a minute. I think I need to be on this diagonal is what I'm thinking. Oh, he just blocks. Okay, hold on, hold on. We have to take away this. I actually need my queen to be like on one of these squares, maybe. Gotta be kidding me. All right, let's go here. And now we go here, I think. Because he can't check me here because of this. Yes. All right. This is where we have to watch out for the stalemate tricks. I feel like I feel like I'm super close right now. I'm just not sure what the move is. I'm really not sure. Is it just something like this? It's like queen e5. I can pin it. Or I can go check here, but that doesn't... Man, okay. Um, why is this so difficult? 
I just can't seem to figure it out. It's because it's always like slightly different, you know? It's not like the exact same position. That's why it's so challenging. All right. I'm going to go to the analysis board. I want to actually understand this, not just get lucky and, and it happened to work. So I'm going to go to the analysis board. So what's the winning move? I'm not even that close, actually. It's, it's still quite a few moves away. Queen to e4. Check. King to f3. Yeah, I'm I'm not grasping it at all. Like I'm not I'm not understanding at all like what I was doing wrong. Like I know the I, the concepts are easy. Like okay, you force him to this edge, you force him to the corner, you do a little thing to win the rook and at some point black's going to go to the other side, but like the little, you know, moves here along the way, I'm just I'm completely missing it. Frustrating, guys. It's really frustrating. Hmm. Okay, let's do let's do one thing. Let's go to the board editor. Let's do another random position. And I'm going to try to think what I would play and see if it matches up with the best move and then try to figure out why. So I think I would play. Queen e4, and it is the right move. Cool. So queen e4. All right, what's black going to do? Uh, rook e5. Okay, I think I would pin it. Or, yeah, I think I would pin it. Queen f3 is better, but queen f4 is also good. So let's just go with queen f4. Black's going to play king e6. Okay, I'm pretty sure I would play king d4. And that's the move. All right. So I got that one. And then rook e5 check. I think I would play king to, to e4. Yes. Okay. So I know I can't win the rook. But what I can do is go check to force the king back. Is that the right move? Queen to g4 check. Oh, no. They're both good. They're both okay. All right. Same, same moves it looks like. So king goes back here. All right. What would I play? feel like I might just move my king over, but I don't really know that that's going to accomplish anything. So maybe what would a better move be? I don't actually know. Bringing the queen over here. Maybe one of these two moves. Queen f6 and queen f8 and king d4. King d4 is, is good. Okay, so king d4 is fine. I'll go with that one. Black plays rook a5. All right. So here, yeah, this is this is going to help me because this was a situation I found myself in. Didn't know how to make progress. The rook is continuing to cut my king off. My queen's just randomly over here. What do I do? Do I go for this? Do I go for check? He just moves up. Do I move a king again? What, what do I do? Queen to d2 or queen to b6? Queen to d2 is such a weird move. Just attack the rook? What's the point? Then the rook moves. Like, why did we even do that? Why did we even do that? That's why this is so difficult, because I don't, I don't know why we did that. So how am I going to remember it? I have no idea why we did it. Just like some random moves that make no sense. Queen d2, so that we can play king here, check, followed by queen c3, and then come over here. I, I'm, like, I have no idea what's going on. Man, okay. It's mating 43. 
according to the engine up here. That's funny. All right. So king f6. What is the move here? It's probably something like queen h4. Or, yeah, I think it's queen h4. Nope. Not the move. The move is queen h6 check. Okay, it forces the rook to go back, and then we could probably go, like, maybe there. Is that the idea? Yes, queen f8, and then why did we want to do that? How does this help us? Oh, there's a fork. Okay, see, that's the stuff. I have to see that, like, immediately, and I'm not even seeing that. So king g5 is forced, which allows us king e5, king h4. Okay, what's the move here? Feel like it's gonna be a queen move. Like some random queen e7. Yep, it is. Knew it. And now it's probably gonna be king here. Yeah, that is a move, but it's not as good as queen h7. Why? Why? So that we can come down here, man. And if the mook, then if the rook just moves somewhere, like check, king f6. So it's it's like the king doesn't even have to be on the the edge of the board. Sometimes it's not, and you still like just sort of come around with your king in a weird way, and like it looks like you're just letting the king off the back. But I guess because you're creating the tension with the rook that you're actually not is that what's happening i don't feel like i'm doing this in 13 minutes i just i don't feel like it's happening all right what's the move here Check, check, check. I don't know. Is it Queen D two? Oh, because you want to bring your king up, but you don't want the rook to be there, so you go there to control it. Is that why? And if the rook moves here, well, then you can come up. That kind of makes sense. So the rook doesn't do that; it just goes back. And now we go here. Either of these moves. And did we finally do it? Do we finally get to where we can win the rook now? Yes. Check, check, right? Oh, check there. What? Uh oh. That's another way to do it, I guess. Okay. But you could have also went here and here. Right. That's the one I saw. So, okay. I understand, like, eventually you get into this position where there's a fork. The problem for me is, like, right around here where it's, like, you're not that close to being able to get a fork. You still have to make some random moves. That's where I'm stuck. I'm I'm just stuck. So difficult. I, I'm, I just don't see a pattern, right? Like that's that's why I'm not learning. I don't I don't see a a repeatable pattern, something that I can go and do every time I sit down to do this, right? Like yeah, I could kind of memorize this one particular example, but it's not always exactly the same, right? And that's where the the difficulty comes in for me. Let's like let's do a different position and see if it makes sense to me this time. Let's clear the board. Let's put my king here, my queen here, and I don't know, we'll put black stroke like this. All right, let's go. If it's me, I'm probably going to play king to d6. All right, that's the move. Cool. All right, black plays king to g6. Okay. 
if it's me, I'm probably going to play queen to e4. Nope, not the move. It's queen to g3 check or queen to h3. Why? Like, why? 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 That's, that's the question. Why? And I have no idea. Like, I literally have no idea. What is this accomplishing for us? And then this move. All these, like, random, like, oh, let's just slide over here and attack the rook. For, because why, why would we do that? Okay, well, let's just keep going. Random check on f1. Then the king comes over. I mean, that makes sense because you control that and you wanted to bring your king closer. That, that one I actually understand. Let's see if I can figure out the move here. I actually saw that one. Queen b1 check. King g7. All right, let's see. What, what's the move here going to be? Maybe a waiting move? So like some random move like queen e4. Okay, queen d3, kind of in the same category. Rook g6 check. So we move, rook f6 check. Okay, this one I think I've seen before. It's gonna be queen d8, right? Yes, that's one of the moves. Also queen c3, but queen d8, and then black plays rook f1. Okay, let me see if I can at least figure it out from here. So... I think you want to control the square that the rook would check you on. So I think the move is going to be queen to d4 check. Yes, it is. Okay, so there is one pattern that I am capable of recognizing. It's this one. Now, we've stopped that. Is there... Is there a fork? I'm not seeing one. Hold on, hold on. Check here. Oh, there it is. Right. Oh, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, if he goes here, there's a fork, but the rook would block. Is that the move? It's not the move. Right, you just have to bring the king closer. I forgot about that. You have to bring the king, like, super close. Even if black is going to try to run away. Is this a fork? Queen e3 check. Or queen e4 check. I'm still not I'm still not seeing it. Like how am I not capable of seeing this? There it is. Okay. Well, I was afraid of this move. Queen oh, queen no. Yes, of course. Okay. Whew. So the the reason it wasn't a fork before was because the rook could block, but now our king's in position. So that's why we wanted to do that. So now this guarantees a fork. Either here we have this fork or here we have this fork and the rook can't block anymore. So that's why like this position, I, I, I was just a little bit off. I had to get the king in position first and then you go for the checks. And if the king comes up here, same thing, there's another fork. Okay, I got six minutes. I'm, I'm gonna try it one more time. I'm gonna try it one more time and see what happens. Let's go board editor. I'm going to spend these last six minutes attempting it from, I don't know, this position. Maybe I won't put myself in check. All right. Analysis board. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Continue from here. And level eight, I'll be white. Let's go. Let's go, stockfish. All right. So I believe bringing the king up would be a good move in this position. And I think a 
putting my queen somewhere that would help me control the rook's checks. Maybe like, maybe like here. Yes, so I can come here and here, and I don't have to worry about a check there anymore. All right, so he goes over here. There's not going to be any forks. Maybe I just come up here. Just kind of controlling this square. Okay, he goes back. So there's not going to be any check. So I, I want to stop the rook from checking me, I think. Or maybe I want my king to come here. So I would stop this square. So let's actually try this move. So I want my king to be able to come here. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay, cool. So now I can go here. All right, that, that looks, this looks like a nice position. This looks like a very nice position. I think the whole bring the queen back might be a good idea. He just goes over one. Okay, let's go ahead and check. And I'll check, I guess I'll check on the dark squares. Okay, so I could go here. Just really trying to keep my king as close as possible. I think that makes sense. So I have checks. And then he's got to go back there to defend the rook. So that, I mean, that looks really good. That looks really good. I don't, does it matter which one? Let's, let's just go with this one. I, I don't know if it matters. Let's go here and I can do this. Yeah, this is looking really good, I think. Or do I just do some waiting move here? It's going to force him over there. Still need to get my king a little bit closer. So maybe I just play queen here check, actually. Because I, I want my king to be on the sixth rank. That's one thing I'm... Oh, he's stopping it. Very clever. Very, very clever. And if I go here and here, there's the stalemate trick. So I have to avoid the stalemate trick... But I need to get my king on c6. That's the issue. That's the issue. Okay, we're so close. We are so close. If I go there now, I could go there now, actually. I could. There's no stalemate right now. There's no stalemate. I think I think this is okay. Oh, wait a minute. No, yeah, yeah. This is good because he can't go there. I think this is good. I think this is what I wanted. Okay. So I need to control this square with my queen so that my king can come there. Is that what I need to do? Oh, man. How did I mess this up? So close, and it just always gets away from me. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, he's running the other way now. Okay, uh, I'm going to resign. I want to analyze this before my time runs out because I, I'm, I really feel like I'm super close. I feel like this game was so close. Like right here, like like this moment, I've, I've got to be able to figure this out. I played King C5. Okay, here I started to go a little... No, that's still pretty good. Queen A8 was a move. Queen f7 was on, on there. Okay, so not too bad. 
So, oops, sorry guys. Um, so queen f7, king c8. I played queen e8 check. It's not terrible. Queen to a8. That's the move that I just couldn't figure out. But queen e4 is also good. Just attacking the rook. Kind of like a waiting move, yeah. Interesting. So if I would have played queen e4, black was going to play king c8, and then what did I need to do here? Time is up. <laughs> okay. Let me just finish this train of thought, and then we'll, we'll wrap up the video. Queen f3. Why? Why queen f3? I mean, king c6 is pretty good too. Okay, this is this is similar to what happened in the game, actually, right? Where I, I ended up getting this kind of position. And I felt like it was bad for me. Well, yeah, it is. It's not as good. Oh, man. Interesting. So, having the queen on f3 or on e4 was better. Go to this line. Queen a8 check. Uh oh, because I had the tension on the rook, it forces this. Queen a3. Queen. <sighs> what is happening? Like, what? what is that? Okay, well. I learned a bunch of stuff in that hour, but I still don't feel like I can confidently win against Stockfish. I feel like against a, a human, I would probably have good chances, but uh, against Stockfish, I don't I don't know. I, I feel like I'm still missing something. I'm still missing something. I honestly feel like I could spend another like three hours and I'm still not sure that I would figure it out. Maybe, maybe something would click if I just keep doing it enough, but there's just so many of these random like ideas. That don't they don't all seem to be the same and that's that's what i'm really struggling with so i don't know hope you guys enjoy that uh let me know your thoughts on if you've tried this if you know how to do it if there's something obvious that i'm missing i'd be interested to see that um but i'll see you guys next time stay sharp play smart and take care